right, Betsy and John back again, and we're changing oil on our lawnmowers. And the air filter. It's gonna be really easy. Uh, the only tools we need are an oil pan and a bottle of oil. Is it called a bottle of oil? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and a bottle of oil. And we'll show you where to find the model number of the lawnmower so you can look up your type of uh, oil that you need for your specific lawnmower. But ours is gonna be uh, 30 weight Briggs and Stratton oil. And we're working on a Lawn Boy 16032. All right, let's go. So to find the model number on this on this lawn boy, just look for your sticker. Every lawnmower has a sticker on it, and that's our model number, 10632. Uh, you can either look at the owner's manual or find it online by searching the part number, um, what type of oil, and, and most important, the capacity of the oil. Um, you definitely don't want do not want to overfill with oil. So this is the air cleaner on the Briggs and Stratton 550. So it's really easy to open up. That just opens up a little clip on top. Pulls out, all dirty. You can see all the dust from all the grass. I usually like to get a little WD-40 on here just to clean this up a little bit. Get all the old dust and debris out. And same thing with the cover. Not necessary, but I just like to Keep it as clean of it as I can for a day. And same thing, you can look up the model number of your lawnmower to get the correct air filter type. This is, uh, looks like 0516 is the air filter model number. And it looks like that old to the new. So, just pop that in there, just presses on. No special clips. And the cover goes on with these two tabs. Clips on the top. Air filter replacement done. Next is the oil. So we looked up the model number online. Find out it uses 16 ounces of 30 weight oil. Briggs and Stratton four cycle engine oil, SAE 30. I pre-measured it out already in a, in a, in a spare bottle I had. So we shouldn't have to worry about this. And this particular model, um, there's no drain hole, so we just have to drain it from the fill hole, and that's what we're going to do. So you just tilt it on its side, and the oil should come right out. And there you go. And that takes a couple minutes to drain, so we'll let that drain for a minute. Well, that's draining. When we fill it up, uh, this is the oil dipstick tube, and you want to fill the oil up between these two dots, and that's the correct amount to run your lawnmower on, right between the two arrows and the two dots. Looks like the oil is just about gone. We'll stand it back upright, let it sit for a minute, and we'll tilt it one more time to make sure we got everything out. Last little bit. All right. So now that we have the oil drained, you can see it's kind of black, pretty dirty. We get some fresh stuff in it, nice and clean. So I pre-measured out 16 ounces, and what we want to do is pour about three quarters of it in there, let it sit, and take a measurement. So then we just fill this back up. Okay, so we put about seven ounces, seven ounces left, so about nine ounces. So let's go a little bit more. So we're about 12 ounces right now. We'll let that fill up and we'll take a measurement, see if it's even on the dipstick yet. And as you can see, it's not even registering on the dipstick. So we'll put a little more in there. It's best to keep checking it so you don't overfill it. If you put too much oil in it, you'll have to drain it out because it's not good for the engine. All right. 
Let's see where we're at. Oh, we're just barely getting on the dipstick, so we'll keep adding a little bit more. So this looks like it's going to take the full 16. And here we go. So it looks like it's right between those two dots. So we should be should be in good shape. That's it for lawnmower maintenance for this year. Drain the oil, refill it with fresh uh, 30 weight oil, and change in the air cleaner. It takes about 10 minutes. Easy to do, and it needs to be done every year.